Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the sweep tool on Fusion 360. Um, it's in the create menu here, and we're going to make a little paper clip with it. So if we read the description, it says it sweeps a sketch profile or planar face along a selected path. This is a feature that requires two sketches similar to loft, which is covered in a different video. So if you look close at this build, uh, let me turn on the sketches here. So the first one is just a sketch of the profile. So this is the path that it would be following. Or not the profile, but the path. The second sketch then is the profile. So it takes that little circle and follows it along a path. And again, like the other videos, we're going to look at some different sketch tools that we can use along the way as well. So let's start a new design. I'm going to create a sketch on the front face. And I'm going to make that paper clip style path. So first, I'm going to make it, but I'm going to make it kind of square. Again, I'm not worried about dimensions for this. In a real product, we would be, but this is just a skill builder. All right. So there's my very square paper clip. But I'm going to use the arc tool to make it smooth. So remember, the goal is to use that tangent constraint, which we've talked about before in class. And tangent is where a circle and a line intersect at a single point. Um, and when we use it in this application, it makes a smooth transition from one line to the next. To use sweep properly, it does need to have a smooth transition. So I'm going to click one point there, one point there, and I'm going to drag up. And eventually it'll snap to position, and you can see the tangent symbols show up at each of the points at the end of the arc. That's why I know it's smooth. I can go beyond, and it's not, but it'll snap to that spot. So again, I'm going to click from there to there, drag, snapped. Good. And one last time. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is delete these horizontal lines just so the only path that I have is that paper clip. All right. So I'm going to finish my sketch. Um, and if you notice too, I didn't point out at the start, I started my sketch at the origin. The reason I did that is so that I could locate my profile location easily later on. So I'm going to create a new sketch now for this on the top face because it needs to be perpendicular to that path. So now you can see I'm working on top of it and you can see where I'd want to start my path, right? And it's going to be right on that origin and that's why I started my sketch there. So I'm going to make a circle, but if you wanted to explore, um, you could also do like a polygon, like say you wanted to extrude a, a pentagon or an octagon. Um, there's other tools here for that. So there's circumscribed or inscribed based on the size you want, right? So there I've made a hexagon with an interior diameter, um, you know, uh, equal sides on all things. That's how it does that inscribe uh, versus uh, the inscribe versus the circumscribed. So I'm like I said, I'm just going to do a circle. I'm going to make sure it's small but not too small. If I make it so big that it intersects the path, we're going to have issues. So I'm going to make it just a reasonable size and finish the sketch. So let's look back at my home view. So now in the create menu, I'm going to select sweep. So remember, everywhere we see a mouse cursor is something we have to select. Sometimes it auto detects, sometimes it doesn't. Um, there's different path types you can try to play with and explore. Um, we're just going to go into single path. The profile is that circle. The path is the paperclip part. And one thing I wanted to show, so you see it has the whole thing. Say if you only wanted it to go halfway, that distance number is a percentage. So if you make it one, it's going to follow 100% of the path. If you said 25, it'll follow 25% of the path. We want it to just be 100. And that's it. So I press OK. I now have a three-dimensional feature using sweep. 